Oh, hello. I was just reading my uh, fancy book right here. See, you've come a long way to um, uh, learn about the story of uh, Greek. That was awful. Okay. Our story begins in Greece. <sighs> Obviously, where lived one of Zeus's many children, Tantalus. Hey, what's up, guys? Tantalus here. Me and Kronos are going to give you a quick rundown of why I'm here. So basically, I was super tight with gods, and I thought it'd be kosher if I could snatch some nectar and ambrosia from my mortal homeboys. Which was a total no-go. Also, he decided to pull a massive prank on them, which they didn't find too funny. Yeah. I boiled my son and my son Pelops in a cauldron, and served it to the gods. They just fell for it. Zeus ended up restoring his boy's life, but a chunk of his shoulder was missing, so Zeus filled him with ivory. But yeah, I get to spend the rest of eternity here in tartar sauce. It's Tartarus. Yeah, that's what I said. Tartar sauce. The darker, the darkest part of the underworld. With my grandpa Kronos. The punishment has having food and water just barely out of reach. So I'm always hungry and thirsty. Because of my actions, I pretty much cursed my entire bloodline, but whatever. One, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight, you'll be on my dinner plate. Oh, how I love spending time with you. When Agamemnon returns, I'll be heartbroken. Oh yeah, uh, speaking of which, his shift off like an hour ago, so he's gonna be here like any minute. You should probably hide. Agamemnon is the great great grandson of Tartarus, and he has just returned home from the war, victoriously beating Troy. With him, the prize, Cassandra, who is a prophet of Apollo. Clytemnestra is Agamemnon's wife, who is having an affair with a man named. Aegisthus. Ag Aegisthus. Okay, there we go. Honey, I'm home! Cheating on me while I was gone, were you? Agamemnon! Oh, how I miss you! I'm just you. messing with you. Oh, Whew. who's this? Oh, this is Cassandra. She's a little weird. This house is cursed. All of you are doomed. Three people are going to die today. That's none of my business. Oh yeah, speaking of which, look at how nice, like I sharpened your favorite sword. Look at how nicely it cuts me. Come here. Little does he know that the meat that's going to be cut is him to death! Yeah, Apollo and I used to date. He's the one that gave me the gift of prophecy. Then we started dating, and he got a little bit crazy. So, I dumped him. Now, he made it so that no one believes me when I prophesy something. Aegeus, get out from under that table! I have killed that and we will now rule the kingdom together! Yeah! Yes! Victory. Let me in. No. I'm coming in anyway. Mom killed- Uh, what do you want? Mom killed dad, so you need to uh, kill mom and her boy toy to avenge dad. I ain't gonna kill mom. What you talking about? I'll give you five drachmas to go to the temple of Delphi and ask Apollo what you should do. <laughs> I'm gonna need more than that. You can ask Hylades to go with you. Uh, okay, sure. One, two, three, four. Five. Highlights, what should I do? She is my mother after all. Well, on one hand, you should avenge your mother. But on the other hand, you're going to have theories after you, and that's not going to be good. You feel? Yeah, it's only something I don't know. Strawberries? They're not a berry. But bananas? Bananas are a berry. <laughs> I, you know, I think you should kill her. You remember how she treated you and your sister? But you should wait and see what Apollo says, actually. Enough. Apollo, my man, what should I do? Slay the two who slew. Atone for death by death. Shed bloodshed for old bloodshed. 
Thank you, Apollo. They're like tax crisis. Like we're in right hey, now. Hey, mom. What? Hey, Jesus. Look at this really cool thing my sword can do. <clears throat> do you need the help? Oh, yeah, why not? Come. Okay. I wonder what, like, what is it? Oh! Orestes just killed his mother and her boy toy with the assistance of his best friend Pylades, which is a very big no-no in Greek culture. He now has furies after him, wanting to make his life absolutely miserable. So Orestes decides to go to Athena and plead his case before her. Orestes, son of Agamemnon and Clytemnestra, how do you plead for your crimes? You see, it's a little more complicated than that. Just please represent and explain your case! Well, look, I'm guilty and I'm not guilty. Yes, I did kill my mom, but it's only because I had to, to not get... because I had to avenge my dad. So, I'm Athena man, I'm sorry. If there was another option, I would have taken it, trust me. Well, you do seem, you know, a little bit sorry for your crimes. <laughs> you know what? You're not in trouble anymore. You are not guilty, and I'm lifting the curse from your family. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so that ended the curse of the house of Atreus.